With me here, I've got Mike Park. Mike, first of all, tell me a little bit about what you do for John Deere. I'm actually the factory marketing manager for Ag Management Solutions, which is the precision ag business for John Deere. Well, we wanted to talk about precision. I know there's a lot of new equipment on display, and as I understand it, even some updates to uh, software that, uh, I guess, runs some of your precision equipment. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on with uh, AMS from John Deere right now? Sure. We're, we're pretty excited this year. We've got, uh, as you mentioned, a number of software updates. Um, uh, among those are our long-range RTK solution, which will effectively extend the range of our RTK um, accuracy from 6 to 12 miles. Uh, we heard this afternoon about intelligent total uh, equipment control, which automates the uh, end row turns for producers, uh, including uh, include, uh, turning the machine as well as lifting and lowering the, uh, the implement as it makes that end row turn. Um, we also are are excited to uh, talk about our desktop software product, Apex 2.0, which will launch in a, launch in a beta release format this week to, uh, to customers. So you, there's a, a new product that actually will be in their hands, uh, you said literally within a week. That's right. Uh, the, within, uh, with, with our business and uh, the ability to deploy software updates over the, um, a live update over the web, it uh, facilitates the, uh, the uh, rapid launch, if you will, of products into customers' hands. Great. Well, for farmers who may not yet be taking advantage of what Precision can do for them, what would you tell them about the kinds of uh, equipment and software that John Deere has available, what it can mean to them? You know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great question because uh, not every customer is, is ready to inv make the investments required for precision, for precision agriculture. Um, so I would tell them to visit their local dealerships, find out about the, the range of, of solutions that we can offer them from an automatic, uh, excuse me, a, uh, um, a universal auto track guidance kit that they can put on a used tractor, a combine, a swather, um, or even a competitive piece of equipment, whether that be a, a challenger or a case tractor. Um, ask for a demonstration and uh, try it on their operation and, and, and let that be the true test. Um, ask questions and then see if they can justify the investment long term. Um, and I think they'll be ple pleasantly surprised with uh, what they find out. So they could conceivably kind of stair step into it a little bit instead of you know, necessarily doing a full conversion of, of the equipment they've got. Yeah, they absolutely can. We have a term that's called scalable accuracy. So we actually have different levels of accuracy from plus or minus 13 inches all the way to what we call sub-inch accuracy. And each, uh, each, each level of accuracy requires a different level of investment. So they can start uh, on, the, on the lower precision end and then work their way up with the same components from John Deere. Well, you mentioned the things that are new and uh, part of this product launch. Uh, if you, if there was any one that you're maybe most uh, proud of, and think is probably one of the most significant elements of that, which one would that be? That's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty difficult question to answer. However, I would say that uh, the the uh, sw our Swath Control Pro product, which enables a whether you're in a spraying operation or a planting operation, to individually control um, your your um, your uh, row units or your sprayer nozzles, um, and turning them on and off based on your GPS position is pretty exciting because you can you can immediately see the savings that a customer can realize when they have a product like that. Great. Well, thank you very much. That's Mike Park. He is uh, out here in the sun, and it, it is a little warm a little <laughs> here at the uh, John Deere product launch taking place in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.